Based on past trends, it looks like the next CSGO Major stickers are going to be released sometime around May 1st or May 2nd, one week before the actual event starts. So today, I want to go over why I think this Major has potential to be the most profitable Major for investing so far, at least in recent Majors. Obviously, it's no Cato 14, you aren't making 50,000 extra returns, and why I think the strength in the CS economy recently could be a sign of strength in major items. So as always, if you do enjoy and you're in the near two thirds of people that aren't subscribed yet, be sure to subscribe and quickly check out how to get $5 for free from the sponsor Skins Monkey. Skins Monkey is a CSGO trading site where you can find great prices to trade your skins at. And just to prove it, here's me trading my USPS Monster Mashup for a StatTrack AK Cartel, and it's practically a break-even trade. You could even make some money, and here's how. Skins Monkey is offering up to a $5 bonus if you sign up through that link in the description today, or just enter code SUKA in the top right when you log into the site. So be sure to sign up today with that link and easily trade out your old boring skins for new ones without losing tons of money. But for now, let's get right into the video. So first off, I want to quickly highlight how willing people are to spend money in CSGO right now, mostly in cases. The Riptide case is one example that really stands out to me because I predicted the exact opposite price action to happen because the exact opposite price action happened in the Broken Fang case, but the economy right now is really strong. So alongside the entire case market, it's just been increasing in price. And people willing to open cases for this really absurd amount compared to what they were at just a month ago, two months ago, three months ago, they've practically tripled in price in that time. It just leads me to believe that since we haven't seen any signs of weakness yet, a few cases going a bit sideways, but it's such a high price compared to what it was before, that just doesn't mean weakness to me, that we could see something really similar happen in these upcoming Antwerp sticker capsules that we saw in the Stockholm capsules. Just crazy price action only a few weeks after the event's over and to me cases kind of correlate with that obviously they're both pretty much gambling you're spending money and hoping to get something worth more value than you put in oftentimes you're going to get busted but people are just willing to pay so much more for the cases so i expect that to continue in the sticker capsules now when the actual event starts we've got to look out for some key things to happen in the price trend of stickers that are indicators of strength first off we want to look to see if there's strength in stickers right off the bat if they start off low in price and are slowly rising throughout the time sticker capsules are at that one dollar price point it could very well mean continued strength after the event ends after that 75 percent off sale is gone and to me if they're increasing like we see in the mouse sticker, for example, that should follow through after the 75% off sale. Note, throughout the 75% sale, these stickers didn't really have any price action at all. They just sat flat in price, even though people really like them. So to me, we really have to pay attention to the price trend right when these things drop, not necessarily after the sale happens because everything seems to kind of flatten out then. So the main thing to keep your eye on is when these stickers get in game, what are they doing? How is the price action looking? Do people like them as crafts and just are they good? Note that if there are a few stickers in each capsule that people like, which there definitely will be, I don't really think we have to pay too much attention to the other stickers in the capsule as much as they should follow trend even if people don't like them as much. For example, the Ent sticker, which is also in the Challengers capsule alongside the Mouse stickers, didn't really have a great price trend at the beginning like Mouse. It did hover around the same range, which was strong, but it wasn't as strong as Mouse was off the beginning, just having a crazy increase in price. Either way, as time went on, Mouse stickers, the capsules themselves, all of that went up, and stickers followed along with everything else in the capsule. It's as simple as that. I just chose Ents because it's not really a team that a lot of people love compared to Mao's. Their logo isn't really great either. So it's just another sticker really. And Mao's kind of paved the way for it to increase in price because alongside the Mao's sticker, this thing did have a 5x gain as well. So in a market like this with such strong price action, even if you don't personally love the stickers that come out, if you're planning on investing, just try to take a look at the price trend of the stickers at the very beginning and see if they show strength. I'm really confident that they will. Once again, with practically the entire market, cases, which people open to practically gamble with, becoming more expensive to open in price, skins of course becoming more expensive as well, why wouldn't sticker capsules, which are once again a gamble to open, increase in price? But the thing is, there's also a possibility that these stickers end up like RMR, but I'm going to say why I don't really think that's going to happen and why RMR was kind of really a one-off thing. 
First off, RMR was not actually tied to a major event. Like there wasn't a major going on when RMR happened. So I think it leaded the community not to really have any hype with it because there's no tournament going on. There's no viewers watching it. No people buying stickers because of that. Not to mention these stickers were pretty disgusting and showed absolutely no signs of being good investments right off the bat. They looked the exact opposite of Stockholm stickers and the sale lasted an absurd amount of time. I assume since Valve just didn't care since it wasn't tied to a major, might as well just allow people to buy them for months on end on that 75% off sale, which they did. And I don't think that's going to be happening again. We didn't see it in the Stockholm major. I don't think we would see a really extended sale this time around either. And hey, maybe the stickers will be ugly. We'll just have to wait and see. But I've really got high hopes. Even if they aren't great looking, I think once again, with this crazy market hype that the community will rally behind them either way, and there's a ton of investors now too, so price action could get kind of crazy. But overall, just in the market conditions right now, how well Stockholm stickers did and a player base that's really become willing to spend a lot of money, especially for cases, even 3x the amounts they were just a few months ago in the Riptide case for example, glove cases as well, breakout cases, gamma cases, everything becoming more expensive and people just keep on buying. So. A great time for investors and I believe that will carry over. Not to mention the player count we have now is actually higher than it was during the Stockholm Major. Presumably we'll see an increase when the actual event starts, gains a ton of hype and brings a ton of players to the game or causes a bunch of players to return to the game. So hopefully that should just add to it. But either way, we just gotta wait and see. I've got high hopes. Overall, I think that is going to wrap it up for this video though, so as always, if you guys did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new, and of course, check out Skins Monkey as well. But for now, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.